Hello guys, you are welcome to Chris Control Automation. Today we are going to look at sizing of star delta contactors and main contactor, okay, for three phase square cage induction motor. Let's get started. We are going to start in methods, okay, in method one, all right. We are going to use root three in both star and delta configurations. In method 2, we are going to use three phase star delta connection in both star and delta configurations. In method 3, we are going to compare both methods. Okay, that is methods 1 and 2 to select the contactors. Alright? Okay. So now method 1 using root 3 in both star and delta configurations. Okay. We have this nameplate this is the nameplate of our three phase induction motor so we are going to look out for the current rating or the full load arms of this motor on the nameplate and this is the full load arms 52 amps okay now we have this motor nameplate here with a motor full load arms of the two amps on the nameplate okay in star configuration or in star connection sizing is equal to full load amps that is fle times one over three sizing is equal to 52 times one over three sizing is equal to 52 times 0 0.58 Sizing is equal to 30 amps. From the contactor routing chart, we are going to look out for a number that will be higher than the 30 amps. Okay? And now we have 32 amps. Alright? So, therefore, our star contactor is 32 amps. Now, let's move on to delta configuration. All right, sizing is equal to full load amps times root 3. Sizing is equal to 52 times 1.732. Sizing is equal to 90 amps. Now, let's go to the routines chart and look out for a number that will be higher than the 90 amps. And that is 95 amps. Okay? So, our delta contactor is 95 amps. This is the first method. We are going to use the second method. Alright? In the second method, we are going to use three-phase star delta connection. Okay? We have an example here. In this method, okay, we only have the Three phase voltage that is 415 volt AC and also the impedance that is 20 ohms. Okay, in this method, we don't have the full load arms on the motor nameplate, we only have these parameters that is 415 volt AC and then an impedance of 20 ohms. All right, now in star connection. We know that phase voltage is equal to the line voltage over root 3. I hope we can remember these calculations back in school. Now, our line voltage is 415. So, 415 over root 3. The answer is 239 volt. Our phase current will be equal to the phase voltage over the phase impedance. Now, our phase voltage is 239 over the phase impedance. That is 20 ohms. Our answer is 11.95. In star connection, we can remember that line current is equal to phase current. Therefore, line current is equal to 11.95. Now, let's go to the ratings chart and find a number 
that will be higher than the 11.95. Please don't forget that 11.95 is approximately equal to 12 amps. Alright? So we are not going to choose 12 amps from the chart, but rather we are going to choose 18 amps. Alright? Okay. So now, alright, our contactor size, alright, is 18 amps in the star configuration. Now let's move on to delta configuration. Okay? In delta connection, you know that line voltage is equal to phase voltage and now our phase voltage will be 415 volt okay we know that phase current is equal to phase voltage over phase impedance our phase voltage is 415 over the phase impedance that is 20 ohms the answer is 20.75 okay now Line current is equal to phase current times root 3. Line current is equal to 20.75 times root 3. Line current is equal to 35.93 amps. Let's move on to the ratings chart and select a number that is higher than 35.93 amps. And on the ratings chart, we have 38 amps amps therefore our line current is equal to 38 amps so the contactor size is 38 amps in this delta configuration all right now let me go back i said earlier that in this method two we did not have the motor full load amps on the nameplate okay so in situations where you don't have the full load amps or the current written of the motor on the name plate okay and you have 415 volt ac and also the impedance of the motor then you have to go by this formula okay this method two all right okay so now we are going to do comparison okay using the method two all right and also the method one and see if we can get the same parameters okay so in this case i'm going to select the phase current in this delta configuration okay the value that is 20.75 20.75 now this 20.75 means that it is the current flowing in each phase of the stator windings so we are going to select this value okay all right and do some comparisons all right so let's move on now we are coming to compare methods one and two okay right with the number 20.75 now this is the star and delta connection method that is the method two all right I said that in this method we were not giving the full load amps but rather we are giving the voltage okay and also the impedance that is what we use to calculate for this parameters now let's see we are going to use okay the first formula that is this formula okay sizing is equal to full load amps times 1 over 3 okay now our full load amps is going to be 20.75 all right the phase current from the delta configuration okay in the second method all right so now sizing is equal to 20.75 times 1 over root 3 okay sizing is equal to 11.98 all right let's look at the delta configuration in delta configuration sizing is equal to fla times root 3 sizing is equal to 20.75 times root 3 
sizing is equal to 35.93 now let's look at something here okay we assume that this 20.75 okay is the current rating of the motor we are assuming that all right okay you see this value 11.95 from the second method okay we also use the first method to get the same value and this is the value 11.98 all right now this value to 35.93 in the delta configuration in the second method all right we used the first method formula okay to also get the same value that is 35.93 all right now what i'm trying to mean here is that when you are giving voltage and impedance without the full load arms on the nameplate okay then you can go by the second method this method all right but when you are giving the full load arms on the nameplate of the motor then you can go by the first method all right and i prefer the first method okay all right now when it comes to the contactor sizing all right the main contactor okay can be higher than or equal to the delta contactor and also the delta contactor will be higher than the star contactor okay per the calculations that we did always the delta contactor will have higher current than that of the star contactor okay so engineers we are done with the calculations if you are new to this channel and you want to be following this tutorials then please kindly subscribe okay and then you hit the bell icon you like the video you put down your comment and then you share the video to your friends okay i will see you in my next tutorials thank you